Papa, Uncle Eduardo was on Crab Island. Morgaine, what did I tell you about this nonsense? He was on the island for a few weeks and disappeared recently. It's nothing but gossip. I was told this by the owner of the Buckleberry Inn. I told you before, innkeepers are renowned for their gossip. Anita also said that she knew you. Was that gossip too? Anita? Yes. I knew her before I met your mother. A woman with... If your news came from her, then there may be some truth in it. This is all very interesting, I'm sure, Castillo. But what news of Tanner and the Golden Turtle? Senor Brisco is right, Morgaine. He has chartered the maid for his own quest, not ours. Of course, Papa. I'm sorry, Senor Brisco. I didn't forget the quest, and you're going to love what I found. These were in a secret compartment, in a statue of Buckleberry Tanner. Then they must be linked to our quest. Do you know anything about this map? I didn't know of its existence until you brought it here. What could the B mean? It possibly stands for Bucklebury. This key could fit anything. Not anything. It has to fit something specific. Well, yes. But that specific object could be anywhere. And I have no clue what it might fit. Does this broken stone disc mean anything to you? No, but perhaps there's another half to find somewhere. But where? We should set sail for Hollow Island immediately. I agree. Perhaps we can find something there which will shed light on our recent discoveries. Papa, I have enough money to pay you back. Very good, Morgaine. It's important to establish your reputation for paying your debts. Don't you want to know how I came by it? If you don't tell me, I don't need to tell you how I came by mine. <laughs> Diego? What? Why do you hate me so? I don't hate you. I just don't think you're ready to be put in charge. My father is the captain. He's never made a bad command decision. There's a blind spot where you're concerned. Where do you want to go? Let's sail away. It's a beautiful day for a stroll on this magnificent island. I shall accompany you in your search for clues. I'm sure that isn't really necessary, Signor Brisco. It sounds very exciting, and I can't let you have all the fun. There could be dangers on the island. Then I shall expect you to do everything to protect me from them. Shall we go? Sancha.
Morgaine, how wonderful to see you. And with such a handsome man alongside you. This is my client, Signor Briscoe. What a pleasure it is to meet you, Signor. Would you be interested in, in taking a wife? While it is indeed a pleasure to make your acquaintance, I already have a beautiful wife. Oh, I must say, that is the most gracious refusal I've ever had. We're searching for the golden turtle. Do you know anything about it? Uh, should we be so blatant in our inquiries? Oh, you don't find out if you don't ask, but I don't know anything. I heard some rumors years ago, but to no notice. I'm not one to gossip, you know. How does she allow herself to lie? What was that? I said that I nearly swallowed a fly. Do you know anything about Buckleberry Tanner? He used to be the governor here years ago, before the present governor took over. There aren't many people on the island who will remember him. I'm looking for a gold earring. I've probably got just the thing on my stall. Excellent! I'll see you later when you've returned to your stall. What a delightfully charming little place. Very quick. I've never heard it called that before. I'm going to wait here and take it all in. You can do all that running around on your own, can't you? Why, you... Jolly good. I'll see you back here a little later, I expect. Of course, senor. Besides, I... Mm hmm? What? I'll ring for the stall holder. Oh no, the bell's broken. Now I can't get the stall holder's attention. I'll have to fix the bell. Hello, Sancha. Hello, Morgane. Do you have a gold earring? Uh, something plain? Of course. Pirate special to the balloons. Here's the money. Thank you. The earring is all yours. Oh no, it's bad luck to walk under a ladder. I'm not putting my hand in there. It could sit while my hand's in it. Then I'd have a cement. I'll have to retrieve the clapper another way. Hello, Sancha. Hello, Morgan. Something fell into that barrel of cement. Do you have anything I can use to retrieve it? Oh, yes. I have just the thing. A small net. It's yours! For only one doubloon. Here's a doubloon.
I knew that walking under the ladder would be bad luck. I got the clapper, but the net is ruined. I need to wash the cement off quickly or it will set hard. Then the bell won't ring clearly. Perfectly clean. That will enable me to fix the bell. At last I can ring the bell. I hope the repair is strong enough. I'm here! I'm here! Hello, Percy. Hello, miss. Do you know anything about the Golden Turtle? I once knew a man, called Tanner he was, who claimed to have found the thing. Completely mad. Why do you think he was mad? Stands to reason. Anyone who claims to have found the Golden Turtle must be mad. I'd love to shake her hand. Oh, wait. Hello, I'm Morgan Castillo. Are you Miss Brown? That's right. I'm the governor's personal assistant. I have one of those. He's called the third maid. You can't see the governor without an appointment, you know. I don't want to see the governor. I want to talk to you. How long have you worked here? I've been here longer than the governor. He was so disorganized when he arrived. But I soon had him whipped into shape and organized his life for him. Did you know Buckleberry Tanner? Of course. He was the governor when I first arrived here. Now... He was a good governor? An excellent governor. But it wasn't long before his explorer urges got the better of him. He was obsessed with collecting unusual souvenirs. Stones, shells, and strange things in jars. It was a full-time task keeping them in order. Have you ever seen this before? I think it was created by Buckleberry. Then he must have done so after he left the island. He always asked me to keep his belongings organized. Perhaps it was a secret map. Then it would be pointless of you to ask about it. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Oh my word, I have indeed. Governor Tan... Could I take a look at it, please? Of course. I've kept it safe ever since he gave it to me. Oh, thank goodness I'm always so well organized or it would have gone missing years ago. <laughs> How silly of me, the chest is locked, as it should be. Oh my goodness, the chest key is missing. What? Some 
someone has been interfering with my meticulous organization. I'll help you look for the key. I, I haven't lost it. Someone else has been in here. I I'm not neglecting my duties, you know. Oh. Calm down, Miss Brown. Take a deep breath. No one is accusing you of anything. I should find that key for her. The key doesn't fit. I'll search around the room for the key to the chest. Wait a second. The chest has an unusual keyhole. Why didn't I spot that before? Did you take the key with you when you went home, perhaps? No, I never take off his keys home. Oh, who could have taken it? Oh, I don't know. I can't think straight. Is there anything else of value in the chest? No, nothing of value. Just the broken disc. The key must be somewhere in this room. It's the only explanation. I'm looking for a key to fit that unusual keyhole. Aha! I knew it must be here! Oz, you found the key? It's here on the key rack, mixed up with the others. Oh, how silly of me! But it must be all the pressure. My work is so important, after all. Oh, it is the right key. Uh, thank you, Morgane. What's wrong? The half disc, the one we were discussing, it, it's not here. Well, someone must have stolen it. Oh, this is too much. Someone has stolen that broken disc from me. What will I do if the governor finds out? Why would that be a problem? It's the shame of not keeping the office secure. Can you help me find the culprit? Very well, but only on the condition that I get to keep the disc if I do. Of course. The disc is less important than knowing who did it. Miss Brown? Yes? When did you last see the broken disc? It was about two weeks ago. I remember because it was a couple of days before I was ill. Perhaps it was taken when you were ill? Of course. The governor had someone act as stand-in for a couple of days. Who was it? The governor didn't say. But it was someone who'd clearly been going through my things. If I can find out who it was, I can find the disc. Why not ask the governor who stood in for you? I can't disturb him over such trivialities. Besides, I can't risk alerting him to the fact that a thief has been in the office. Senor Brisco? I 
hope he hasn't wandered off and become lo <laughs> at least his money will be hi i'm morgan castillo vasco's my name are you captain alessandro's daughter yes i am then it is a great pleasure to meet you, senorita. Your father is a great man. How may I help you? You look like a man I met on Bounty Island. Tasco was his name. Oh, that's my brother! I haven't seen him in years! How is he? He looks well. Gave me some useful information. If you see him again, please tell him I said hello. Did you see a man called Briscoe, a merchant? If he's the one that was here a few minutes ago, then I know just the man you mean. Where did he go? He went off with Hilary Simpkins and one of his new recruits, but I don't know where. You could have warned him. He's probably in danger. I assumed everything was all right. Uncle Eduardo was with him. He's here? On the island? I've got to find him. And Frisco too, of course. Have you ever seen a broken stone disc? It's missing. No, nope, I've never seen anything like that. Miss Brown was ill a couple weeks ago. Do you know who might have stood in for her? Percy does all kinds of odd jobs for the governor. He may know something. He's usually by his stall at this time of day. Hillary recruited some people here? Well, there was this young man who turned up here some time before. He wasn't from the island or I would have known him. He was looking for a job. At first, I felt sorry for him, for I had no position to offer. He looked like a nice guy. When I realized he joined Simpkins, I remembered the old saying, appearances can be deceptive. Do you remember his name, or where he was from? He didn't say where he was from, but his name was Bobby. Where do you want to go? Diego? Yes? Senor Briscoe is missing. I need your help. You're the acting captain. You should be able to find him without my help. I should tell Papa. That's more likely to reflect badly on you than me. Briscoe was taken somewhere by Hillary Simpkins. So? What does that have to do with me? I can't deal with Simpkins on my own. If we don't get Briscoe back, the ship loses its charter. Please help. Very well. But I'm only doing this for the... Thank you. Let's head to the town gates. Hello, Sancha. Hello, Morgane. Miss Brown was ill a couple weeks ago. Do you know who stood in for her? I didn't even know she was ill. And you have such a reputation for knowing everything. Oh, perhaps my skills are sleeping. Have you seen Hilary Simpkins? Do you know where he might be? No, I haven't seen him. The only person who might know is where about. Where could I find Nathaniel? 
He should be at home. His house is in front of the inn. Nathaniel, it's good to see you. Is that more gain? My, how you've grown. <laughs> How's your father? Papa is well. He's let me take charge of the ship as he wants me to learn the ropes. He must be incredibly proud of you. Do you know anything about the Golden Turtle? I'm afraid that I've never heard of it. Have you heard anything about Buckleberry Tanner? Wasn't he supposed to have been a great explorer? That's right. Anything else? Only that he used to be the island's governor at one time, before I arrived on the island. Miss Brown said that a broken stone disc has gone missing from her office. I hope that doesn't mean there's a thief on the island. I'll keep an eye out for him myself if that helps. Do you know Uncle Eduardo? I saw him years ago, but heard that he'd been lost at sea. He's been seen on this island recently. Oh, that's great news. I hope you find... When Miss Brown was ill, the governor got someone to stand in for her. Really? Well, I never get to hear about these things until it's too late. So you wouldn't know who the stand-in was? No. Do you know where Hillary could be? I didn't realize he was back on the island. He comes and goes so regularly these days. Hillary has kidnapped a rich merchant and may also have Uncle Eduardo with him. Now just wait a minute. Why does everyone immediately think that Hillary is up to no good? Ah, who am I kidding? It's sure to be him. Does Hillary have a base on the island? Yes, but he's never told me where it is. He thinks he's protecting me or something. I don't think I'm ever going to find where it is. If anyone knows where the base is, it'll be Diablo, Alessandro's first mate. You mean Diego? <laughs> of course. <laughs> you should ask him. He's become very friendly with Hillary in recent years. I need to have a word with you. Is that so? Why does Nathaniel call- Because he's a fool who's scared- Tell me about your friendship with Hillary. Nathaniel's been gossiping, has he? So it's true? You're friends with Simpkins? We drank together from time to time, nothing more. What about his base? Where is it? I've no idea where it's located. I think you're betraying my father's trust in you. You know nothing. Playing at captain doesn't give you insights into friendships between men. The captain is like a brother to me, and I'd never betray him. I'd sooner cut off my own leg. Then prove it. I've done so numerous times. Your father knows where my loyalties lie. Then prove it to me. Oh, if it's proof you need, I'll help you find the location of Hillary's base. Vasco? Yes, yeah, senorita? I'm looking for Hillary's base. Can you help me? No, sorry. But perhaps I have a clue. Hillary dropped this when he was in the square earlier. This shell is huge! I've never seen a bird big enough to lay an egg like that. Perhaps it'll help you find the base.
I knew that walking under the ladder would be bad. Hello, Percy. Hello, miss. Do you know who stood in for Miss Brown when she was ill? Well, I did, of course. Not that the jumped-up snooty cow appreciated it. All I did was rearrange a few of her things, and you'd think it was the end of the world. But she doesn't know you stood in for her. Well, the governor never told her, thank goodness. But he t Do you know anything about a broken disc? Miss Brown says that it's missing. Well, that old thing, well, I thought it was some old rubbish and took it away with me. I incorporated it into a mosaic I'm building in the governor's garden. Oh, the broken disc wasn't rubbish. It's really important that I get it back. I'll allow you to go into the garden, then. If you're quick, the cement won't have set yet. Thanks. I don't want to get into no trouble with the governor. Do you know where I could find Hillary Simpkins? Him? We should tie him to the stake again. Find Nathaniel. The two of them were once friends. Yes, I remember Nathaniel. Diego, can you get that half disc from the mosaic column? I can't do that with my bare hands. Even I need tools for that. The half desk is here, cemented in with all the other mosaic pieces. I can't remove the broken disc. The cement has set. I need to find some tools to remove it. Diego, can you get that half disc from the mosaic column? do that with my bare hands. Even I need tools for that. I should enter the shed if I want to search it. This smells like something metallic. These feel like metal tools. It's a hammer and chisel. Exactly what I need. Diego, will you take this? Well, it's not my birthday. Just call it an early present. Diego, can you get that half disc from the mosaic column? Alright, watch out for flying rubble.
Wow, that was impressive. Here it is. It looks like it survived the destruction without any damage. Miss Brown? Yes? I found out who stood in for you when you were ill. It was Percy. The governor's gardener? Yes, he took the broken disc too, but only because he thought it was useless. Thank you, Morgan. Now I can sleep easily once more. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Two doubloons! Thank you! Have you ever seen anything like this, Miss Brown? Not personally, but I know of people who have. A few years ago, the governor sent a team to survey the far side of the island. Only half of them returned. What happened? The survivors wrote a brief report of monsters that had driven them mad. The governor was furious and tore up the report. But I kept the pieces of torn paper, in case they were important. Can I see them? Beyond the dark crossroads, we discovered a strange beach that seemed permanently in twilight. We found a strange egg on the dark beach, and when we picked it up to study it, a monster appeared. The monster attacked and we fled, but in the commotion the egg was dropped and it broke in two. Such was its fury that the monster killed half the party before the rest of us were able to make our escape. Oh, that's a very short report. If the egg came from the dark beach, that must be where Hillary has his base. I just need to find where it is. I'm certain Hillary's base will be at the dark beach. Which is here. I shall head to the dark beach immediately. Perhaps I should make a wish. I wish we could find Uncle Eduardo safe and well. The sea's rising, and Briscoe will drown. We need to help him. How? There's no way down to the beach. Let's 
find something that will help us climb down. Diego, we can climb down the cliff with this ladder. Can you bring it along? Very well. Now that was spooky. Senor Briscoe, are you all right? Thank goodness. Diego, why are you friends with a man who could do something like this? No, 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 not the serpent! What? The dark serpent will return! We're all doomed! Brisco, what are you talking about? It will kill us! The dark serpent! He's scaring me. I've never seen anything like this before. Leave it to me. I'll carry him back to the ship. Morgane, you did it. Thanks, Papa. I... Hey, Morgan. I know what you're going to say, Diego. That's not... Oh, why do I... Bo Briscoe's coming round. I must have had a nightmare. It was probably the thought of drowning. Thank you for saving me, Morgane. Ugh, and you... Are you well enough now? I think... What about Uncle Eduardo? Did you... What? Uncle Eduardo. Wasn't he with Hillary? Oh, yes, it's beginning to come back. Uncle Eduardo was with him, then suddenly took off on his own. Should we press on with the quest? What about Uncle Eduardo? Uncle Eduardo, the turtle, they aren't important. Simpkins took the keys to my house and to my safe. He must be after your gold. I don't care about the gold. I'm worried about my wife. We must return to Bounty Island immediately. 